hello thank you for joining me again this week for another video um i'm gonna be honest with you this one's not gonna be the best um it is me talking a lot because i'm kind of prepping for the trip that i'm leaving for that i'm currently on right now as you're watching this i'm gonna start off by taking you through um my notion template that i created for planning trips um you can actually purchase this template online it's a one-time purchase and you can just use it uh, for any tri upcoming trip so i'm just kind of using it to help my help pack for this trip um and then i go through what i'm packing and why i did not cover every piece of gear that i'm packing um so it's kind of all over the place i'm not gonna lie this is what the main page looks like. Everything is customizable. You can just, you can even go in and change the co cover. You can upload a picture, whatever you want. We have your trip duration. It's actually six days that we're on the river. To be honest, I don't know what the trip distance is yet. I have to, <laughs> I have to re look that up, but uh, there's no portages. Um, and then we have our packing list. So um, it is all just first names, but this was the list that we went over last night. So the canoes we're actually renting from Texas uh, Riverways. Texas Riverways is gonna be providing everything as far as canoes go. So life jackets, paddles, safety kits, uh, everything we need. Um, and so this is pretty straightforward. We've decided who's bringing what. So we need, we're gonna bring two food barrels, two barrel harnesses, um, who's bringing what. Um, I'm bringing a tent, Adriana's bringing a tent, so on and so forth. So that's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna use this list today. My individual packing list is here. I haven't dialed this in yet. So this packing list includes a lot of the stuff that's already listed in the group packing list, but the idea is it's just a template. So what I would do now is I would go through and actually delete the things that I don't need to bring. So I don't need to bring any of these things because Texas Riverways is providing that for us. Yeah, so I still need all of those things, still need all my personal gear, and then of course all my clothes. So this list I would use for packing today basically, over the next couple days. All right, I will bring you into an area of our home that we are not particularly proud of, but it does store all of our things we call it the storage area we also call it purgatory it's just kind of this secret area of our house but it's very messy we have tried many times to organize it and just every time after a couple weeks it gets trashed again because i think the answer is because we're lazy when we need to unpack we don't do it properly and then we get into a situation where things are a mess again. So anyways, here we are. So here it is on the phone. I can just scroll and go to my pack list. Okay, sure. Cutlery set, ugh, washcloth, pillow, this tent. Sleeping bag. It's pretty cool. Oh. Not bad. Ugh. Arm arrest. Question set. I'm gonna start with what shoes I'm bringing on this canoe trip. So um, <clears throat> we do plan to take a day off and do a hike. So I am bringing these, the Moab Speed 2, very fitting considering we are going to Moab. Um, so these will be my around camp shoes and hiking shoes, of course. And then, these are new. These are called the Speed Fusion. Sandals, I haven't worn sandals in about six months. Um, but ooh, ooh, those feel really comfortable. Nice, solid, thick sole on them, which is important for 
stepping in and out of the water, stepping onto rocks and stuff. Super, super excited to give these a try. What's next? What else am I going to show you? Of course, we have to talk about bugs. First up, we've got our Muscal Pump Spray, 25% DEET. Um, these are our go-to for our canoe trips. Um, they're small, compact, and they work well. I'm also gonna be bringing the lotion. So this is 30% DEET Muscal um, Insect Repellent Lotion, which is great. I like to rub it on behind my ears and around my neck and everything. I'm gonna bring these. It's nice to have these around camp when you're just hanging out. Um, they really do work. We use them all the time at our house, so. The coils, good old classic coils. I picked up these maps online. It was a bundle kit, it came with three. Um, I only need these two because these show the whole section that we're paddling. I picked up this river guide to the canyon lands. Um, it has all the details in here. I'll be honest, I have not read much of it yet, but I've, I've kind of picked my way through specifically for what I'm looking for. For example, what are the bugs like? It told me. So we got our map case here. It's got your clips so you can clip it down so it doesn't fall into the water. What I would do is go find our foot in, um, just here, and fold this whole map and fold this whole map in such a way that I can see as much as I can in the map case. So, um, where did that just go? Mineral bottom. Mineral, mineral bottom is where we're putting in. It. It's here. And then of course we're traveling the river and it continues on to this side. And then after that, I'm on to the next map. So I would just stick this right in here. While I'm paddling, I can see the whole route without having without having to take it out of the map case at any point. And then I just do that each night, make sure I'm refolding the map in a way that I don't have to uh, fiddle with it during the day, especially while we're on the water, because um, that's how you lose your maps or you get them wet. These are waterproof and like, these are high quality maps, but just um, in general, that's a safe way to do it. Just never fiddle with your maps while you're on the water. So there's one map case. Um, I would likely store my second map um, somewhere else until I actually need it so that in the off chance that I do for whatever reason lose one map at least I'm not losing um, the whole root map so you know the term don't put all your eggs in one basket that's quite literally what this is well not literally but you get the point I wanted to tell you what I'm doing this weekend um, so on the Stikine River uh, for those of you who watch that series hair is something I struggle to maintain um, just really on a day-to-day -day basis but um, mostly in the backcountry it's something that just completely is um, the absolute last thing I'm, I'm really worrying about anyways we ended up staying in a hotel on the way home and I ended up just cutting this gigantic rat's nest out of my hair. For me, that is lesson learned. I am going to get my hair done this weekend in a protective hairstyle. So meaning it is something that is gonna protect my hair from being damaged, tangled, uh, knotted up, and it will be very easy for me to manage. So a protective hairstyle would be something like braids or twists. Um, so that's what I'm doing, I'm getting twists done. So this weekend I'm gonna take you along with me while I go get my hair done. Um, we're making kind of a weekend of it. I'm going down, uh, leaving the boys here, and I'm gonna spend the weekend with my siblings. I have an older sister, a younger sister, and a younger brother. And we're going to my younger brother and sister's cottage. Um, and we're gonna spend a couple nights there and hang out. Um, so that's what I'm doing this weekend. So by the end of this video, I think, yeah, by the end of this video, my hair will look significantly different. What else? Well, I guess I'll go over the sleep system. Bringing the MSR Remote 3. It has carbon fiber tent poles, so they're super light. It is a three-person tent, so for two people, it'll be uh, nice and spacious. 
about my Thermo Rest Neo Air. I love this ground pad very much. And then I've got my <clears throat> Thermo Rest Airhead pillow. These are great. Um, I'll take it out just so you can see. The nice thing too about this is that you can just blow it up to whatever firmness you need it. Nice sleeping bag, compression sack. Look how small it packs down. It is a down filled sleeping bag, so you don't have to worry about it losing its um, like R value or anything like that when it's stored compressed like that. This is my Thermarest Oberon. Um, it is good to it is good to minus 18 Celsius. I love this sleeping bag. Um, I've had it for a couple years now. It's got the wide foot box, so it, it's a it is a mummy bag, but like look at the foot box. It's pretty wide and big. So um, yeah, it's it's amazing. I always bring my Thermarest Z Light. Um, pad first of all it helps keep the warmth in um so like we bring these with us everywhere because um everywhere when we're doing something outside we will usually bring at least one of these because they're just great to sit on i usually take my shoes off uh when i'm sitting around the fire so it's nice to just like have a little spot to put my tootsies um and i put this underneath my actual air mattress just to help uh protect it from the ground and if there's anything that might compromise the air mattress this will protect it and then i actually use one of these um so you can just put it on the ground and you can actually lean back and the nice thing too is that it's so small it just slides perfectly down the back of your canoe pack um but that's what i do i know a lot of people have those ultra light like folding up chairs i prefer to just sit with i i feel like i need my feet straight out in front of me what else i think that's it for now so I ended up going to my brother and sister's cottage. Uh, this is actually where Jim and I got married in 2017. We spent the day doing my hair while also hanging out. Um, basically, she started off by stretching out my hair and then uh, sectioning it all off and then actually adding in extensions and twisting uh, my hair. It was super fun to hang out with my siblings and it was a beautiful day. So we made sure to get outside and enjoy it. And I'm so glad I did it because I really like the way it looks and it might be something that I do with my hair a little bit more often so I'm not always looking like an absolute mess. So I'm bringing kind of a lot of clothes it feels like. I've got my convertible quick dry pants so they zip off at the knee so they can also be shorts. Long johns for in case it gets cooler at night. My pajama pants. Shorts. Short shorts. Not short shorts but just like actual shorts because um, I really like these shorts. I don't know. I have another pair of quick dries. These are the double layer. Um, so they've actually got like some, they've got mosquito repellent, uh, not mosquito repellent. They're like the bug repellent pants because they have the double layer, but I just like them because they're also thicker. So for like a cooler day, um, I can wear these. So that's a lot of pants, but I'm bringing one, two, Three, four, oh my gosh, I'm bringing five pants. That's weird. There's no portages. Undies, I don't need to explain those. Swimsuit and swim shorts. Bringing four pairs of socks, two ankle high, and then I've got my warmer socks. So, you know, around the fire, whatever it is when we're walking around. And then these are my sleeping socks. I just wear these in the tent in my sleeping bag. They are car hearts. They are gigantic for me, but I don't really care. They're very comfortable. They're my keep my feet warm socks. Pajama shirt. This is my uncle's shirt. Work crew style. It's, it's actually my favorite. Like there's something so comfortable about it. So anyways, my pajama shirt. And then I'm bringing three shirts. Long sleeve. Just a nice little t-shirt here. A tank top. Um, for the really hot days. Of course, they are all moisture wicking. And then a couple sports bras. And then I'm just bringing one sweater. Um, again, we're going to the desert. So this is, a, I think it's an extra large. I don't know what the actual capacity is of it, but it'll fit everything.
the last item I'm gonna bring with me is this outdoor adventure journal. It's actually one that I put together and had published because I want to get into journaling on my trips, but I just never really know what to write. So I put a few specific prompts onto a page, made it look nice, and made it into a, a book. There are about seven prompts. Each page is the same and it's very basic um, just to kind of help get me thinking about certain things throughout the day that happened that I want to remember and write down. So I'm going to bring this with me and I'm going to put it to the test and see what I think. I'm excited to give it a try. I will report back to let you know what I think. If you want to try this journal, you can actually buy it right now on Amazon. Um, I'll put the link in my bio and you can check it out. So I'm all packed, uh, hair's done, uh, ready to go, and I am technically heading out tomorrow. So I'm um, really looking forward to this trip. I'm nervous to be away from the kids for this long, I'll be honest with you. As much as I know I need the break and I deserve to take some time, um, I am nervous. But that being said, I'm going to film a little bit on this trip but I also want to be respectful of the others on the trip and I don't want to be shoving cameras in their face the whole time. I don't want it to hinder their experience for the trip because um, of course everybody has their own opinions on filming uh, things and being in the moment and so I totally respect that. I will do my best to film a little bit. It may just be a little montage of the trip but um, so you can stay tuned for that. So that's it. I am... I didn't film everything as I mentioned, but that's it. I am packed and ready to leave. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative, even in just the slightest. I apologize for my um, terrible filming and kind of explanation skills, but I, it's something that I'm working on. Stick around because I will get better at this one day.